Yes, it is definitely pirate themed and you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, especially when it also feels like you're getting some major mini golf vibes, which I am not opposed to. Actually, it's really fun, but let's go and raise the flag and thank you. Thank you. I'll take the crystal skull, please. I need it. All right. Yeah, so this area is relatively straightforward. Not a whole lot of secrets to be found here. As far as my experience is concerned, I've tried looking, but the camera just never wants to cooperate. And amongst other things, uh, creepy crawlies come out of the woodwork. Ooh, decorative skulls, sure. Oh, geez. Uh, I'm getting <laughs> ambushed. Not again. Not this time. Okay. Oh, there's another one up there. Do you have a secret for me, friend? Oh, he's he's stuck. He's stuck by some. I'll take those bills though. Or maybe he was just stuck behind the stage, whatever. It's 10 bucks, I can deal without it. All right, so we've got, uh, I almost said bowling balls, coconuts here. <laughs> and we can use this to fight off this uh, rabid, hostile, possessed treasure chest. So if I get in close enough, then maybe I can, is this not the one? Uh, oh no, of course it's the one. Okay, well, eat up. I know you're not a huge fan of coconut, but once you try it from the source, it is not to be trifled with. All right, give me them. Give me them. Give me them. Those pomegranates. Yeah. And there we go. That is very little adversity. Although, thank you for reacting to that like that. I don't think you really get anything for shooting off into other places, but that's all right. Was there anything else in there? That was a little disappointing, actually, for a possessed treasure. That's fine. There's stuff in the nook back there, but I can't get it. I don't even know if I can. I meant to check to see if you could walk behind there, but I've never been able to, so whatever. No big deal. Next time we come back here, we'll play around with that because we will return. Don't worry. This is not our only uh, rodeo at the old uh, 1800s pirate bar. Can I even? I can get back there. Totally can. All right. Was that a... Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, whatever. Let's <laughs> let's head over here. All right, can I make you a drink? My tie, my tie, my tie. Anyone? My tie, my tie. Okay, that's the only thing I know to make. My tie. Ooh, what is this? Uh, can I like? Oh, it's a mixing like thing. <laughs> a blender, rather. All right, well, I'm done here, so let's step outside. Keep in mind, we're still on the twelfth floor, so yeah. This place is really cool, actually, but we got a couple of gems to collect, so we'll grab that pearl. And over here, as we hoover up the beach, uh, we can go and destroy that statue. It's a little unnerving, and it makes me like, uncomfortable. So I'll take whatever I can get. Wow. There we go. Give me that coconut. He's cuckoo in the coconut. <laughs> yeah. That boy needs therapy, so we're going to need to destroy that. Because <laughs> of course you will. Of course the game will force us to do this. If we want everything. There you go. One more? Probably one more. <laughs> He's like, oh, my head. Where has my head gone? Don't worry. I'll, I'll buy you a new one. I'll buy a new life. Oh, jeez, it's you. All right, well, don't come over here. Stay in the water. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Thank you. <laughs> 120 health, that's fine. With our extra slam, it does make some of these a little bit easier, so. Okay, now one more. Are there spiders over here? I think there is. Okay, he's he's running and then he's gonna run back. There you go, you're terrible at this. No, get, dude. Oh boy, there he goes. There he goes again. And last but not least, if I can, hello. Oh, damn, dude. We're like on the verge of death. But that is our fourth already. So yeah, rather than the traditional stage, this one definitely, I feel like, is a boss stage. <laughs> okay. So if we go this way, there's going to be a lot of stuff that we can make up here and grab. Although I remember there being snakes in the, in the sand, which I'm not a huge fan of. Don't like snakes, especially when they're in the sand. How do they breathe down there? Don't ask me. 
But uh, yeah, some people might have actually missed this because it's uh, a little bit out of the way. It's actually off screen. We can continue to the secret lover's beach and make a bridge appear, which is a little absurd, slightly bizarre, but not completely unheard of. Where is that? Depth perception, the game. Not my strong suit. <laughs> I hope people realize I'm doing that on purpose. Strong suit. I know what a suit and a suite is. I know the difference. I kept calling them card suites in the <laughs> twisted suites, which is kind of funny, but I didn't realize I was doing it. So it's when it becomes a problem is when, uh, yeah, we should call someone. Oh, hello. Why are there so many rats on this one? It's just a family of golden rats to be found, I guess. Okay. This works for me. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and take that. And this will give us our fifth, I believe, or just a lot of money. Oh, there it is. The golden green money crystal. Nice. Okay, now as for the purple, um, where's the purple? Is it not, is it on this one? I don't think it is. Oh, yes it is. It totally is just in the sand. All right, well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Thank you. Yeah, that's it for the Spectral Catch. I still love that name too, by the way. The Spectral Catch. Huh. Uh, yeah. Nothing else here. I could have sworn there were spiders and, like, snakes and stuff, but maybe the next time we come down here. But we head over here, and you'll notice the pirate ship in the distance. And if you remember the one that we made appear, it might ring a bell that you should probably summon it. So, let's bring him on over. Huh? 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 And so, the boss of the Spectral Catch appears in the form of Constance from Monster House as we're being bombarded by the cohorts here who are throwing TNT at us that we need to feed this old <laughs> this old mouth in the floor. And after doing this three times, that is more or less when we get to earn some reprieve. But all the while, cohorts will be throwing shite at us and their aim is still as impeccable as ever. So wait till the mouth is open and also get... Well, that was a... Good ass block, man. Jeez. All right, I gotta give you props for that one. Ooh. Also, watch out for the explosions. Not a fun time, especially with the auto aim. Okay, so if you get caught by the mouth, you'll actually just have to button mash your way out. But it's more important that you don't get hurt by the barrels, because that is probably where you're gonna take the most damage. But with good timing, you'll be able to get a pretty decent system going. I just hope I don't get some thrown at me. There it is. So after three, the boss's true form will emerge as Captain Fishhook. And just like the name would imply, he's got a big old hook on his fin. And the only thing he knows what to do with it is to kill. Yes. So all we have to do is avoid his slice and hope for him to go ahead and get it stuck in the floor so we can hit him. This is another case where the... The phases will be fixed, so no matter how much damage we do, we still have to do two other phases of this. So, even if we slam him down, 
he's done at 200. It's a bit of a shame, and it kind of doesn't make this fight all that fun, just because there's so much you get to do with. Like, in general, I do like the vibe of it, and just, uh, the, the execution is good. It's just, it's so repetitive, and the concept is really cool. I just would really prefer to not have to do it eight times, so. Also getting knocked over with these guys. But the next part is actually really cool. So let's do some of that. And <laughs> he's got one last, one last hit in. All right. Come at me, Mr. Fishhook. On the third phase, he'll actually have a different move. So be wary for that. But the only thing he does here, he's tr he tries to slice because he's shark. <laughs> oh, there's a heart back there. Interesting. Also, I almost got my ass wrecked right there. All right, what are you thinking? Here we go, here we go. Oof, nice, well done. Now get over here, get over here, you. So we'll just start the old slamming. And with that, a new phase. So this part is actually really, really cool. We need to get maybe that health. Maybe, health, health, there we go. Okay, use your plunger to hit that if you can and then suck on it before it's too late. Please, oh no, no, no. Okay, let's actually watch this because oof, game over, Luigi. How, do you, how, does, how does somebody get out of that? That is insane, okay. Well, that's fine because uh, you need to hold on to the plunger in order to survive. And what we need to do is just throw the rest of these in his mouth. And he's going to chew. He's going to be mad about it. I'm not even mad about it. So, same thing over here. Just keep throwing them in there. And we should hopefully be good. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, after that, let's go get the hell out of here. And let's do this the right way. It's not hard. Although, this time, it's going to be moving. And there you go. Man, that is, that's crazy. That is so good. I just wish it wasn't so loud in my headphones and I wish it didn't look cooler to actually get eaten, you know? All right, do some of that. Oh, geez, oh, okay. Do some of these, a couple of those. That should be three there, right? Right, I'm hoping. Yep, there we go. All right, final phase of the old fish hook. Get down here, buddy. Did a lot of damage this time around. That's fine. It's just, ah, it's such a cool concept. I just wish it was better. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you doing? He's doing, he's doing that. So ugh, avoid that. Don't do it again. Don't, don't do it. Get yourself stuck in the floor, please. Come on. Ugh. Nice. All right. All right. We got this. Captain Fishhook, I wish this game didn't do you as dirty as, as it did, but... You will be somewhat fondly remembered as probably one of the weaker boss fights of the game. Yep, yep, here we go. Ooh, and the big strike. Oh, poor fella. All right, get in here. It's time to put this floor to rest. Lucky number 13, baby. Also, Polterpup. He's actually going to be appearing a lot more frequently in our adventures from here on out, so that's kind of nice. I do remember a lot of the uh, early E3 trailers of this game kind of uh, hinting that he was going to be more important over the course of most of the game rather than, you know, not nearly all of it. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad he's back, but oh, jeez. All right. I guess I'll save some of this lovely lobster and not crab. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I discovered after our time in the boiler works, I looked it up and apparently 
the reason why you need to boil lobsters is because killing them releases the bacteria that grows it extremely fast that if a human eats it, you know, way longer after its death, it probably will poison you to death. Okay, so we can't do anything about this. And what is that sound? What is... There's like something moving. It sounds like really annoying. I'm probably going to have to lower that in editing, but there's something there. Also, this will lower things onto your head if you want. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, okay, these guys. Um, well, let's do some of that. Get rid of them before they jump off over the edge. Thank you. And I'll shoot you off that way. There you go. Make all of this go to waste. <laughs> Okay, so we can't do anything with the cannon at the moment, which means we'll just have to do it next time. Hello? Why can't I ever grab those on my first try? That's silly. It's stuck over there. All right, all right, all right. I guess maybe I just need to save you? Something is hitting the wall or something. <laughs> We saved Yellow Toad! Well done, Luigi. That's another toad rescued. All right, so we should wait with him in the lab. Indeed, while I see what is causing us to vibrate like this. Is the floor finally starting to crumble underneath us? Here, uh, can I stick you in here? <gasps> I can! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing! I shot down the moon with a toad! In what world is that possible? When you come back here, there's supposed to be uh, like a box of coconuts, which is incredible and what you're supposed to use. I didn't even know you could do that with this guy. That's amazing. Get out of here. Go enjoy your life. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the physics in this place. I can feel it. Uh, also, this is a special because this is going to tell us about the secret treasure on the beaches. So I guess that's how you would figure that out in the old-fashioned way. Through sheer Resident Evil style exploration. Which I would love to do on the channel one of these days. One of them, I thought about doing uh, the remake of the first game. Which I guess would be the GameCube version, but I'm not entirely sure. Good God, well, what in the world is that sound? It's like infuriatingly loud. Oh, get those, get them, get them! That's like 100 coins right there. Thank you. Yeah, you hear that, don't you? That's that's weird. I've never had that issue here, but that's fine. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. It must be one of the barrels that didn't explode or something. This game has been really janky lately. Again, with the Nintendo quality seal of approval not coming through. Yeah. All right, well, the sound is gone now, so that's good, but... <laughs> All right, Toad, whatever you want. Whatever you want. He is just as happy as apple pie, isn't he? Ugh. Yeah, get in here. He wants himself a cold one. My tie? My tie, anyone? My tie? And I guess I can take you and probably shoot you somewhere. That would be funny. There you go. You hang up over there. <laughs> the little noise he makes. And we'll send him back. Lots of Toad action lately, right? Not entirely wrong in, in that deduction. Oh, you know what? I could probably shoot Toad into that little nook over there. That's how I get those coins, huh? All right, let's see, let's see. Do you, oh, well, maybe not. All right, well, enjoy your time at the old cosplaying Pirates of the Caribbean stage, or you can just run straight over here. That's equally as funny. Oh, all this stuff is back. As it probably doesn't matter, considering <laughs> there's nothing in them. So this would probably be a good excuse to use, you know, Toad instead of our friends, but that's fine. I'm okay. Let's head over here. And send him back. Bye bye. Uh, oh. Wow. 
Okay. Uh, sure. I guess we'll just have more conversations like that. You've now found all of the toads. <laughs> right. So it just leaves Pichamara, which is what you saw, were abducted from being held captive by Helen. So that's great. Uh, now for Lucky Floor 13. This is actually, in my opinion, one of my more favorites. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, oh. oh yeah. I wish I had a finite reason as to why that is, considering it's a fitness center, but let's go there right now. I don't know what it is about it. It's just like a fun place to explore and do things, and it also looks kind of nostalgic, especially, you know, taking place at night for some reason, which for me is nostalgic. 